Okay, that was an abrupt stop to the music. My bad. Hey, guys, welcome to Old World. This game is uh, not old, not new. It is out now of early access and has been available since May of last year or so and is now um, is now fully released, according to the, the devs. So hopefully we have the uh, full release version now. Yep, version 1.05 down there in the corner. Very cool. Welcome back. Yeah, you can get this game with the link uh, pinned to the top of chat. You can use the uh, code Raptoria at checkout if you're interested in it. And I'll try to pin a comment or something after the stream, too. Otherwise, it's in the chat right up at the top there. And, uh, yeah. So this game was available in May and was in early access for a while. Not all the nations and everything was not finished. But now it's fully out, so we can play single-player, multiplayer, and there's mods, too. And lots of other stuff. So it should be pretty cool. We're going to build the glorious nation of Raptoria yet again. Yet again. You crank them tunes, bro. Yeah. Oh, I think I'm going to get copyright hit. Don't you do it. Penalty. What? P. What? Wait, what? Oh, the oh, these are the name of the songs. Is there like a non-copyright mode? Oh, dear God. Wow, that's a lot of music. Oh, that's a lot of trouble. That's a lot of trouble. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Skip license tracks. Look at how many songs disappear. Okay, luckily. Okay, so we, we're good. We're on, we're on safe mode now. That was close. Pinto bless. Okay, we're good. Dark Mayu, welcome back. It's a Raptor Hatchling, dude. Appreciate the support. Welcome. Awesome. Very good. You're already playing this game? Well, that's good. Good to see some people uh, picking this one up. If you like Civ 5 or Civ 6, it's kind of like in between those two games. With That's your typical, you know... Empire Civilization Builder, and uh, I liked it, so I'm glad to come back now. All right, we'll get started in a moment or two. I see a lot of people jumping into the stream. Thanks for smashing like, guys. Welcome to the new members, too. 
Uh, members, we have an event going on starting today. If you have SimCity 2013, we're doing like a members-only thing. And then, of course, subs will be invited afterwards, too, after a little bit. So we're just we're just getting a little little server together for uh, SimCity. And uh, we'll be playing that probably tomorrow. I'll, I'll be playing that, but you guys can play, too. Yeah, as usual, I, I don't know why I have to keep giving this reminder on YouTube, but, like, you have to turn up the quality on videos. YouTube's been really weird lately. They're making changes to a lot of things. They're, like, changing how the like system works. They're changing, like, the font on the main menu. Uh, they're, they've changed their app, like, the way the one of the, app, the YouTube apps looks on the phone. They're doing all sorts of crazy things. It's weird. Lakers91, welcome as a raptor egg. Appreciate you. Thank you very much for being here. You set yours to 480p. Yeah, I don't know, like, I turn my, uh, like, YouTube decides off, like, I, I'm trying to make it automatic to, like, 1080p or above every time, and YouTube keeps dropping my videos down to, like, low, even when I'm watching videos, like, I'm just sitting here, I'll load a video, and I'm like, why is it so low quality, and then I have to upgrade it every time, so just make sure you click the gear, and this, is, this could be on any live stream you're watching, or on any video you're watching, so just make sure, if it, if it looks blurry, make sure you uh, upgrade it, not blurry anymore, yeah, see, weird. I don't know. I mean, at least I would try to watch a video in 720p. Some Sometimes, rarely, there's videos that are, like, best in 720, which is rare now. Honestly, I think 1080p should be, like, the new, like, bottom standard. Like, that should be, like, 1080p should be the new standard def. Like, there should, that shouldn't be HD. That should be standard. And 144p, I, I don't even know if you can even watch a video at 144p and even tell what's going on anymore. All right, well, we'll get started here in a moment or two. I see a lot more people joining, so that means at least a notification or two went out. Thanks, Susan. Appreciate that. Ooh, this game's pretty, though. I like the map in the background. All right, let's get started. Ooh, game of the week. What is that? Oh, that's cool. They kind of, like, do a bunch of settings. Everybody can pick, like, the same settings and, like, have a competition. Cool. Oh, there's scenarios? Ooh. The Barbarian Horde. Rise of Carthage. Ooh. And something to do with barbarians. Nice. Well, I think we'll start a new game. Ah, yes. Nebu uh, Nebuchadnezzar. Now we got Assyria, we got Babylonia, Carthage, Egypt, Greece, Persia, Rome. You know, a lot of people think, by the way, that uh, French fries are made in France, but they're actually made in Greece. That's how, that's how you know. <laughs> Why is no one chatting? There's 297 people here. Oh, a lot of people just sit back and enjoy it. But yeah, don't be afraid to say hi. Pop into our chat. Don't be afraid. That's all good. It's nice to have so many people here. Nothing to be afraid of. All right, so we've got Rome. I think I'd be interested in doing, like, uh, Persia seems nice. I like Rome. I like Greece. I like Egypt. I like them all. I don't know who we should pick to lead Glorious Raptoria into its future. Hmm. I'm saying hi, and I'm not scared. Some people are just afraid to say hi for the first time. That's okay. That's all right. We have a kind of a more older audience, so a lot of the times they just are a little more chill. And as for younger audiences, they're a little the opposite. There's really not much in between on YouTube. It's either all the hands or hands off. Assyria. Oh, here's the stats that they get for differences. So administration and military. Okay, so there's your differences with uh, their perks at the start. Different families to worry about. Wrapping. Ironworking already for Egypt? Wow. Ironworking too for Greece. I, I'm liking Greece here. I'm liking Greece a lot. Oh, stone cutting too. Oh yeah, special military units. Oh yeah, we get the hoplites. Oh nice. Shrine of Athena, Poseidon, or Rome. Oh, they get legionnaires too. Cool. Uh, let's see, tactician or commander? Yeah, I'm gonna have. I, I think I'm gonna have to go with uh, Greece uh, for our first run through. 
Grease Lightning, yeah, that's right. That's right. Plus, again, that's where fries come from. That's true. Very true. What is the average channel age? Uh, good question. I guess we could try to... Let me pull that up and see. It's a very good question. I guess I've never looked in a while. I think it's uh, probably 25 to 35, I think, now. We got a lot more uh, adults watching. If you want to attract the young kids, you get a, you get a, you just move your you you open up YouTube Shorts, YouTube Shorts, sub sub sub, and then you do, and that's it. You just move your hand a bunch, and then you just you shout, and then you act overly excited about something, and then you put the phone down, and then boom, you've got four million subs. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, good good question though. Audience. Uh, let's see viewers. Uh, let's see. So 39% of everybody who watches is between 25 and 34, so like 40%. 22% is between 18 and 24, and 21% is between 35 and 44. So mostly, and only 3% are like, uh, like younger than that. Pin Pinto? Is he in the chat? Why am I hearing this bless music? Pinto? All right, let's read the bio of uh, King Philip, and then we'll, or whatever, whatever you want to call him, and then we will shall begin. Philip of Greece, I am King Philip the Second of Macedon, son of King uh, Amintas the Third, founder of the United Macedonian State. I received a diplomatic and military education from the epid epidermis and established a federation of Greek states known as the League of uh, Corinth. I reformed the ancient Macedonian army and established the Macedonian phalanx. As a teen, I may have le I may have had an older male lover, a general I lived with named pa Parmesan. Over the course of my life, I married seven times. One of my wives, uh, Olymp Olympi Olympius, gave me a son. I named him Alexander. He was born on the year of my horse and won the Olympic Games. Alexander is now 13. Wait, what? He was born in the year my horse won the Olympic Games. Oh, I see. Okay. I, th I, th I thought he was saying something about like he was born on his horse and won an Olympic game at the same time. Alexander is now 13. I wonder if Alexander will grow up to be great. All right, this seems cool. Uh, Scott Bennett, thanks for the five. And Zach Bester, thanks for becoming a Raptor Egg. Appreciate all the crazy support. All right, let's jump into a game. The Just. Oh, this I see. This game reminds me of Age of Empires from either Windows 98 Xiaomi or XP Home. Yeah, it's got a little Age of Empires in there. I'd say it's probably closer to, um, like, Civilization, but, I mean... If you loved Age of Empires, most people played Civ and Age of Empires, or Age of Mythology. Do you guys remember that one? Good stuff. I guess we'll do the just. I don't know. We'll just we'll just go with the auto. Ooh, pre-made map. Now let's do a let's do a random map. Uh, let's see. Seaside. Continent disjunction. Hardwood forest. Inland sea. Yeah, let's just do seaside, and map size will be medium. We'll just do all the all the basic setup. Nation Greece, four opponents, turn by the year. Yeah, I think we'll just we'll just go with whatever they've got us set up for the first start. But of course, if you uh, see the thumbnail, the uh, the uh, thumbnail is of course the uh, leader of Egypt, and uh, I don't think I don't think there's other leaders for each of the old world. I think it takes place during the. Around the same time, though I don't I don't know the exact time frame. Greece in the old world. You are King Philip, the founder of Greece, a young nation in the old world, an old world full of established powers that have not heard of you yet. Select your settler and found your capital city. You'll also decide which family manages your first city, gaining their advantages immediately. Ooh, we can kind of choose like who's going to be mayor, so that way we can uh, take advantage of that. That's neat. Let's found our capital. Ooh. Okay, so we can build here. Uh, the Megara Gulf. Ooh. Ah, yes, the glorious city of Raptoria. 
How do we uh, find the city now? Found capital. Ah. Oh, we can pick our families here. Uh, let's see. Should we go with tech? Artisan. Okay, so we can go with champions, artisans, patreons, or sages. And let's go with science. Yeah, that'll be good. Greece discovers a new technology. Labor force. Tutorial orders. Orders are an important feature of, the, of Old World. Units can move multiple times between each turn, but uh, each move consumes one order. Other actions such as attacking or building also consume orders. Uh, your remaining orders can be placed at Wendy's. I'm in the finally in the 1%. Oh. Above 45 years of age. Thank you, Anonymous. Appreciate that. Oh, wow. One, one's in chat for the 1%, I guess. Uh, your remaining orders can be seen in the lower left corner of your screen. We recommend that you first uh, select a worker so that you may begin to improve your land before you spend all your orders for the turn. Pella has been founded. I'll consider how to use my orders carefully each turn. Ah, we got to do some research now. Wrapping. Uh, divination or administration. Treasury and Granary, or sling Slinger and Camp. Mm. Let's go with Administration, because we'll probably start farming, because there's a river here. Let's start researching that. Cool. And, of course, we need to rename this. Raptoria Prime, baby. Amen, brother! Zach, thanks for the 35 czar. Appreciate that. Alright, so now we need to start equipping our builders and our scouts. Scout selected. Scouts are fantastic explorers that can see further into the unknown than any other units. They Oh, oh they have foresight rather than backseating. They can also hide in trees, making them invaluable as an early warning against invading enemies. Send your scout out into the wilderness to look for new city sites and mysterious ancient ruins. Scouts, uh, as well as settlers and workers, can also harvest resources. Ooh, that's helpful. Uh, oh, there's horses over there. Nice. Looks like some farmland. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, God, bees. What is it with me and bees all the time? Tutorial. Harvest resource. Your scout has moved into some honey. A harvestable resource. Scouts, settlers, and workers can spend orders to yield a small amount of materials from a harvestable resource. Resources that are within the city's limits or that are too far from your cities cannot be harvested. Harvesting is a great way to boost my economy. Harvest honey. That is a sweet idea. Nice. Okay. Where's our workers? Tutorial. The worker. Workers build improvements for your city, rural improvements such as farms and mines, gather raw materials. Urban improvements such as barracks or shrines uh, provide training or culture. With some exceptions, urban improvements must be built on the adjacent to other urban tiles. The lack of urban improvements will lead to discontent. So plan carefully and leave some room for them near your cities. Improvement output can be augmented with the specialties from the city screen. Let's get to work. All right. Uh, let's see. We got a, a lot of trees here. We could build a quarry there. Or an Odeon. Are they as bad as mosquitoes? Well, they certainly... They sting rather than saying they suck. Ah, uh, we have a scout here. Let's go up to that ancient ruin. Strange scroll. Sealed within a musty tomb, surrounded by strange signs and sigils, our scouts discover an ancient but surprisingly well-preserved scroll. Thinking this unsettling, they bring it to you for judgment. While the writing is in an unknown language, it's oddly simple. It feels as if you could quickly learn it if you uh, devoted some time to the task. Study the scroll, find someone to decipher it, something isn't right, destroy it. Uh... Let's study the scroll to learn its secrets. 
Okay. Very nice. Yeah, this game looks pretty. I like all the trees and stuff. It's definitely gorgeous to look at. What is that down there? Maybe those are clams or something? Oh, we found another city site. Perfect. We can build another city already. Uh, let's see. Worker. Want to build a farm. Oh, but we're out of orders, though. But that's alright. I think exploration was probably a little bit more important. We got free stuff when we did that. Tutorial out of orders. You've run out of orders. Your worker can't act if you don't have an order to command it. You'll get more orders at the start of your next turn, but if you need, you can spend 100 training to get new orders. The most important source of orders is legitimacy. I'll be able to order more people around next year. Okay. I think we can, like, pre predetermine moves if we want to. But that's alright. Slavery now? The court has opened the debate on the topic of labor and we get two minds on the matter we can adopt the practice of slavery or we can keep freedom in Greece uh, what shall we decree uh, there will be no slaves Ooh, we got troops warrior selected uh, the warrior is the first melee unit available to your nation melee units form the backbone of your army defending your enemy from tribes and nations oh, Defending you from enemy tribes and nations. All use warriors for early combat. Good. Good, 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 very good. Pog? Yes, we do have a Pog emote, that's true. Bum, bum. Uh, can cities only be founded at city sites? I'm not sure. I think if you... I think you can, like, take over a city site and convert it to your thing, but I don't I don't know if you're restricted. I'm not sure there. Thomas, thanks for the 99 cents. Alright, let's end the year. I guess we'll learn as we go. Alright, we gotta start making some farms, because we need that Wendy's. That'll take three years to build that farm. Groups, we can stay put. Ah, we can settle another area. Well, let's immediately go to a new city. And let's keep exploring. Ah, more lush farmland for our glorious nation. Tutorial. Tribe contact. You met the first tribe. The Danes. Damn it, I knew... I knew. Is there any Danes in chat? Okay, you guys need to be cool, alright? I don't want any trouble. I'm just here to totally not kill you or invade. Okay? Just calm down, Dansk. Okay? Just, just be chill. You guys got along with the Swedes for... Oh, wait. Maybe that's a bad example. You guys got along with the German... Uh, you guys make Legos. Legos are pretty cool. Okay? Lego hearts, in fact, in chat. Okay, Denmark? Let's just be cool, all right? Everybody just... No need to open fire. We're, we're all cool here. The Danes. Tribes can engage in limited diplomacy, but generally won't get coordinated in the way opposing nations are. Finding a weak tribe... And claiming their city-states for yourself will be an important step towards your growing your nations. Danes contacted. Great. I will carefully consider my approach to the tribes like the Danes. Oh, boy. Hitha the Dane. Uh, let's see. What is this here? Oh, it's an urban area. The team that designed this game was founded by the lead designer of Civ 4. Ah, okay. So they obviously have a lot in common. Oh, Denmark's getting rowdy in chat. Denmark, you calm down. You behave. And what's those uh, little sausages that Denmark likes, though? Isn't there like a little hot dog that they like? I kind of want to try some of those. 
Oh, we can also found a city down here. Cool. Uh, we got our warriors. I think we just keep them there, here at the city. Ah, we gotta build something now. Let's see. Militia, scout, worker, settler, festival, and quarry, Olympiad, or council. Hmm. Let's try to increase our... Ooh. Plus 60 civics. Plus 60 money. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, we need money. We're definitely going to start going with that. Big O City. That's right. That's, yeah, that's what we're going to name our first city. Just Big O City. Okay. We could close in on the Danes, but we'll just kind of ignore them for now. Victory conditions, uh, absolute, unquestioned. Okay, so we're going to go settle a new city. Workers are building. I wonder, I think when the workers are done building, I think we get them back. But we could also produce a unit. I guess I should build more workers when we can. But we can probably do that at the other site. And there's a lot of good farmland here, plus area for fishing, maybe. At Lake, um... Uh, Hubity Scubity. That's what we'll name that. Lake Hubity Scubity. Prince Alexander, age 14. Oh, yes, our son. Your son, your heir, age 14. Oh, God. Basically, he's already lived half his life. Queen Consort Olympians. Wife, age, age 33 for the wifey. Spouse? Schemer. Uh-oh. Wow, we can rename her? Oh, wow. Wow, she's literally got a title. Her name is, like, Bay the Schemer. Rename Bay the Schemer. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I, I didn't... Okay. Um. Oh, I forgot her name. We'll just name her the Olympics. There we go. Okay, we're good. Let's continue. <laughs> Tutorial, your second city. Your capital has finished training a new settler. Settlers are key to expanding your nation because only they can found new cities. Take this settler to a nearby unclaimed city site to establish a new city. City sites can only be claimed prior to sending a settler to colonize them. Oh. Place a unit of any type on the city tile to claim them as your own, thereby preventing foreign settlers from founding a city there. Oh, okay, so we should probably send our scouts to the middle of the city. When you found a city, you'll have to choose which family to grant it to. The family will provide powerful bonuses to the city. After granting a city to the third distinct family, you'll lose the fourth family. So carefully consider which bonuses you want and which family you can go without. I'll choose... I'll choose carefully then. Okay. Air education. Time passes quickly. Prince Alexander is growing up fast and eager to learn. How do you want to educate him? Philosophy, rhetoric, tactics, or commerce? Hmm. Let's go with... Commerce. There we go. Uh, strange scroll, scroll translation. Your studies of the strange scroll have borne fruit. While at the first language it is written in made no sense, you have rapidly come to understand it. Almost feels as if the scroll wants to be read as it's somehow helping you. But of course that's not possible. The scroll tells of a mysterious plant and their uses. Uh, the things described are unlike anything you've ever heard of. Although you're learning a lot, studying the scroll is giving you a terrible headache. And plus one wisdom. Continue your studies. Yeah, let's let's keep let's keep studying. Greetings from India. Hey, what's up? Good to see you, man. Welcome to the stream. Okay, we can move our military unit, but I guess we don't really have to. Can I move over here? No, we can't. Well, we can move towards the other city side, I guess. There we go. All right, we'll end the year. Let's 
City built, Raptoria Prime console project completed. Excellent. Let's build another worker. Damn. Look at that palace, y'all. I got it going on with the houses. I just want to check and make sure. Okay, good. All right, so we can claim... Oh, we can already build this city now. Uh, let's see. Artisans. Champions. Patrons. We'll go with the patrons. You are now known as Philip the Settler. Nice. Well, that settles that. Tutorial Nation Contact. You've encountered a rival nation. Rival nations are your primary, primary opponent in Old World. You may engage them diplomat, uh, diplomatically, which could lead to gaining a powerful trade partner, an ally, or declare war on them to conquer their territory. You decide which nations are worthy of being your allies and which should be simply conquered. Uh, at some difficulty levels, other nations begin the game already established with the number of cities, units, and improvements. If you hover your mouse over Egypt's name and score in the leaderboard at the top left of the screen, you can find out what important information about them. Uh, since there are numerous cities that have strong, uh, how strong their military is, how developed they are technologically, and also whom they are currently at war or peace with. To conduct diplomacy, you must appoint an ambassador. I'll do my best to make some friends. Uh, Achaides joins the court. A new court minister, uh, Achaides, has joined the court. His aptitude in matters of the state will keep Greece moving forward. Requires a uh, court minister. Okay, welcome. Now there's Egypt there. Oh, of course. They were, like, right on top of that, uh, what seems to be a Jew... Yeah. Gems. I was going to say they have like all the jewels or rubies over there, but confirmed. Alright, let's make another... Well, it'll take 13 years to make a settler. Damn. Well, let's start settling this land with workers. And we'll go up here. Comet sighted. Our scouts didn't discover anything interesting in these ruins. However, they reported that while they were searching for them, they witnessed a large comet streak across the sky above. It's an omen. A fascinating observation. Uh, a comet foretold our triumphs. Or plus 50 science. Uh, ooh, that's a lot of science. But we already have a science capital, so let's go with legitimacy. Fuming Messenger. A warlord from the Vandals stands before us, fuming. He says the Danes are a race of outlaws, and he demands that we make them your enemies or risk war with his people. How shall we respond? The Danes are not our enemies. Uh, we will fight, but only with Vandals' assistance. The Danes are not our enemies. They haven't done anything. Perhaps it is you, Vandals, who are the ones who should be dispatched. Yes. Let's send our warriors down to the city site. Blame that for Raptoria. Workers keep on working. Damn, this music, dude. I just want to play this all the time. This, this music makes me think like I have to make a difficult decision, like I'm in the McDonald's drive-thru. You know, it's like, yeah, I'll have a 10-piece nugget with uh, medium fries. And what dipping sauce, sir? Why? I am but a mortal man, and you expect me to make this decision? Okay, sir, one barbecue sauce and one sweet and sour. Please pull ahead, first window. That'll be uh, 927. <laughs> Dude, that music is so good. Hold on, we gotta crank that up. That's too good. This music will make you smart.
Okay, let's see. Have we made all of our moves? Oh, this unit can still move. Let's go... Uh... Oh, there's mountains there. Well, we found the Egyptian capital. I think. We'll go into this woods down here. We'll leave the Danes alone. They, they're pretty cool in chat. So based on how nice they are in chat, we'll, we'll not uh, have them die to death. Homeless children! Our explorers discovered a group of orphaned, homeless, and hungry children hiding in the ruins. Uh, if we leave them, they'll surely starve to death, but our cities are on the verge of overcrowding. There's room in our uh, Dodge Caravan for either salvage stone or passengers. What would you have us do? Oh boy, you want me to choose between stones or children? What? Uh, Greece cannot become a charity, plus 150 stone. Uh, we will shelter them. We can always use citizens in Pella. Ooh, actually, yeah. If we get more people in our other city. Wait, gain child labor? Whoa, 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 whoa. No one said anything about that. Uh, Philip the Settler becomes Philip the Gracious, plus two global and strength. Uh, let's just do the shelter part. Whoa, those are some hard options. Uh, you are the first to discover this landmark. What will you name it? Oh, dude, I can name stuff? Wow. Oh, dude, when you, when you, oh, I love that you can name stuff. Wow, I can actually name a river. Uh, Harry Pog. Ah, uh, yes. A landmark of our people. Crabs! Joe's Crab Shack over there. See if I can go get those next time. Padilla. Oh, I've seen those movies. I saw the one where she goes to jail. Um, at the heart of any Greek child's education, there's a concept of padilla, the education of the child in the laws and social matters and morality to become an ideal member of society. In striving for this ideal state, the best is encouraged and uh, sought in all aspects of life, the arts, the body, and the mind. Alexander seeks your wisdom and advice on where to improve and what advice shall you give. Know thyself. Nothing in excess. The good is hard to do. Oh, that's true. No good deed goes unpunished, Jet. Remember that. Um, plus one courage. Well, he's, he's going to be studying commerce. Well, I guess we'll go with wisdom. You want this music to play at your wedding when you're wow, when your wife walks out down down the aisle to like when when they're when you're just first walking down, crazy. Interesting. Yeah, I'm impressed with the naming. That's really cool. Like I, I don't know why more games don't just allow you to like you know when you discover a mountain to name it. I wish there was a way where you could do that. More games need that. Shout out from Argentina. What's up? Good to see ya. Yo, big shout out to Argentina watching right now. Tutorial tooltips. Uh, the nearest tooltip system in... Oh, the nested tooltip system in Old World allows windows to persist as you link from one to another. Simply hold shift while clicking a link or click it with the middle mouse button to lock the new window in place. This allows you to continue to view a window while opening more links, even if you move the cursor off the window altogether. Uh, try this out on the unit link Spearman. Press the escape key or click away from the tooltip windows to make them disappear while they're locked. Oh, well, now we're getting into, like, big brain territory. Uh, some tooltips are anchored in the bottom right of the screen. The ones that pop up when hovering over the city banner tile a unit. These can be expanded to show more information by holding Alt. I will lock tooltips in place with Shift. Click to discover more information. Cool. Wow. Can we build new members at these cities? Is there like a join button I can hit to like get a new member? We're making workers, but I don't see any new members. Hopefully, 
Hopefully we can find a button that we can hit to, to summon a new member. We're going to need him. Good, now we have control of that city. It's that new remix, y'all. It's that new Rihanna. Uh-oh, barbarians. Big shout-out from Brazil. Awesome. And you're watching from Buffalo, New York. And that's the birth birthplace of the Buffalo Wing? Really? Is that is that how like Buffalo Wings got their name? The first time I remember hearing about Buffalo Wings, I was like, Buffaloes don't have wings? What does that mean? It was in like a Little Caesars commercial or something. Ah! You were the first to discover this landmark. What will you name it? Oh, dude, we're finding all this spot. We could call it uh, Tata Lake. We got Harry Pog. Let's call this one... Pinto Bless. Well, let's keep going west. I think we should also try to go north and south, but there seems to be a lot. This is where the coast is. Hello from Malaysia. Well, thanks for watching. Tutorial Ambition. You have unlocked the ability to choose an ambition. Ambitions are goals that your families would like for you to pursue, and completing them will grant you and all your descendants a permanent boost to legitimacy. Completing an ambition unlocks a new one, and completing 10 is the way to win the game, so you always do your best to fulfill your current ambitions. Here are a couple of simple ambitions to get you started. Control four cities or kill five enemy units. Let's control cities. King Philip the Settler has started a new ambition, controlling four Italy. Well, that makes sense. Wait, I thought we were known as the Gracious, because we rescued those kids. Uh oh Hostile neighbors. As our units approach the Babylonian border, they are met by armed soldiers. These men bring an aggressive message. All nations willing to treat with, to treat with Babylonia must pay a tribute. Uh, we should be careful how we respond. Pay tribute in gold, pay tribute in iron, pay tribute in food. Refuse to pay any tributes. Uh, well, we got plenty of plenty of food. You want you want some Arby's? There you go. Maybe we can invite them over to a feast. We'll show them how good our food is. Okay, so Babylon is in the south. Egypt is to the west. There must be something up in the north. Maybe. Yeah, we'll hold here with these guys. How do I get them to hold? Fortify, that might be good. End the year. Devoted to any cause, she swears to everyone knows that Queen Consort Olympics, your wife, is loyal. Okay. Well, thanks, Bay. Appreciate that. Tutorial Specialist. A specialist can be recruited from the city screen by clicking the plus button on the improvement so long as they have an available citizen. Although improvements are already productive uh, on their own, a specialist can boost their yields. Luxuries are a special resource that you acquire by adding a rural specialist to an improvement on the correct tile. For example, you gain gems by adding a miner specialist to a mine improvement on the gems tile. Okay, that makes sense. Urban specialists like Archelites and officers can be trained to higher levels for further yield boosts. Farm finished. I think that's an unrelated note, but okay. <laughs> Sir? Ooh. The Hanging Gardens. Oh, we need 400 stone for that. We better build a quarry. Damn, he's getting into it. Oh, let's build a quarry. Okay, let's keep scouting. Oh, it looks like Pinto Bless has a river that goes south. 
Okay, I think I want to go north and find out where our third competitor is. Finding more vandals, though. Ooh, cows. And you know what cows make. Oh, look. We can get uh, veal from those deer. And we can get venison from those cows. The baby cows, though. Uh, Human Z is in chat. Hey, uh, Ra yo, Raptor Dude, thanks for the support on the game. I hope you're well. I am. I uh, I like the game, by the way. There's a few things that you guys need to work on, but that's quite obvious with, you know, you guys having an alpha. Good luck to you. I'll check it out uh, again in a few months when you guys have more to offer in the game and hopefully some multiplayer. Good work, though. Like, you know, I usually am pretty middle of the road for most things, so it's not like I was going to be displeased by you making a game. How dare you? Survivors. Uh, the village has only recently been sacked, and we discovered a band of survivors huddled in its ruins. The de destitute refugees seem eager to abandon the wreckage of their old lives and join our glorious nation of Raptoria by clicking and tapping the join button. Oh, they are so eager to smash that big, beautiful join button and become a member today. They can't wait to get access to all the emotes, the giveaways on the Discord, which are sometimes not always daily, but Raptor does his best, as well as a perk of joining the SimCity live streams tomorrow and building their own city. But they are strangers to our culture. What will you do with them? Uh, invite them to resettle in our nation and gain a worker. Ooh, or gain explorers. Oh, and we get plus three moves. Mm, well, since we're going to have to build some more cities, let's go with workers. Yeah. Let's see if we can bring them home. And we'll bring them back to our glorious capital. Actually, no, we'll bring them to... Uh, yeah, this city. We'll bring them to our city there we have yet to settle. Uh, an assignment. A letter arrives by courier from Prince Alexander at the Academy to uh, King Philip the Settler. My tutors have ordered me to write this letter to you. I have little time for you, but this must be done. Signed, Alexander. Or, what? Such disrespect. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, I don't, I don't understand the letter. Let me translate. Yo, Dad, my teacher said I don't have a lot of time for you, but I have to do it. Bye. What? I don't... Okay. Is he mad at me, or is he just being like an angsty teenager? He's like 16, so, I mean... Oh, he's 17 now. Oh. Well, then he better start getting a job at the... At the Wendy's or something. Strange scroll, rev scroll Revelation. You've come to understand that the strange scroll, while at first it seemed to describe different world, you've come to uh, realize it actually is a series of allegories which reveal the unity of opposites. The world is at once and many, and that is opposite tension of the opposites that constitutes the unity of the one. Mortals are immortals, and immortals are mortals. The one thing living the other's death and dying of the other's life. It all makes sense now. What the f No? No, it does not. I'm actually more confused. Okay. You think the vandals are going to put uh, <laughs> graffiti on the city walls? They better not. Oh, stone boost. Yeah, we actually need that for... Uh, Building that uh, thingy there. Oh, we could get spearmen unlocked. Pastures unlocked, shrines, or stone. Oh, damn. Well, this is only going to take two years, so let's do that. Plus, we're going to have to start building stuff anyway, so... Stone's a good way to do it. Okay. Oh. We have another city site here. Oh, I think we have to get the vandals out of the way before we capture the city. So we know we can send a military unit there. We gotta get the vandals out of the way first. You were the first to discover this landmark. What will you name it? The Bay of Palma. Uh, we're gonna call this... 
the Bay of Ramen. All right, let's go this way. Oh, another city here. Oh, dude, there's like two cities up in the north, dude. Okay, we need to build them. Okay, our troops got to go north. No, no, but we have a city there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, are the Egyptians going to... Uh-oh. The Egyptians have two military units there. Uh-oh. Not cool, bro. Egypt, you stay chill. Looks like the, is that a coal mine? What is that? Silver? Uh-oh, barbarians. Uh, Tutorial unit fatigued. The scout has used all their moves and has become fatigued. Fatigued unit can be ordered to take forced march, but forced march costs twice as many orders to execute. Your scout will be uh, refresh its move next year. I'll force march a unit if I need to move now. Okay, that's fine. Uh, tech deck. Upon completing the research for a new technology, you will unlock the next technology on the tree, entering it into the discard pile, and four new cards will be drawn from the draw pile of the available technologies for you to select from. After making your new selection from the four drawn cards, the remaining three cards will be sent to the discard pile and ultimately recycled back into the drawn pile when it's empty. Oh, okay. Free unit and bonus cards are never recycled and are instead permanently discarded if not chosen. Administration discovered. I will choose my technologies carefully. Very big brain. Very big brain. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, I didn't know the barbarians would just attack. Whoa, what the? Whoa, bro. You are now known as Philip the Ford Explorer. Okay. Wow, super rude. Barbarians are just like attacking everybody. I mean, that's what they do, so I guess it makes sense. Alright, time to get to work on our hanging gardens. Well, I guess we can't. Uh, let's build something over here. We could build like a... Oh, that takes stone, though. How much to build a mine? Well, we could build a granary. Yeah, let's do that. But that's fertile farmland. Plus 6.5 if we build there. Okay, let's do another farm. Plus farms will also equal money. Yay. Okay, so vandals are parked up here pretty good. I need more military units. But if we're going to do that, we need uh, more cities. And if we're going to do that, we need more military units. And if we're going to do that, we need more cities. Okay, let's get the hell out of here before the... Oh, an elephant. Damn, this music is dank. I do like how we can see mountaintops because you'd be able to see them from like a million miles away, so it makes sense. Tutorial legitimacy. Uh, your cognomen has changed to the explorer. Your co cognomen describes your recent accomplishments. Acquiring a cognomen is one of the way of increasing your legitimacy in the eyes of your people. Higher legitimacy grants you additional orders and improves your standing with your families. Keeping your legitimacy high is important for controlling a large nation. King Philip becomes the explorer. I will show them who is legitimate. Yeah, I'm super legit. Inspired by nature, Prince Alexander has been sneaking off into the wild after class each day, growing ever more inspired by nature. What advice will you give this budding naturalist? Uh, romantic, exploring, or ruthless? Hmm. Cannot marry, cannot have children, cannot... Whoa. Oh yeah, I guess he'd be out exploring all the time. But that hasn't stopped a lot of people. Plus two romantic. Uh, plus two civics rate. over the top one. Ooh, okay. 
All right, trapping, rhetoric, navigation. We could also start going towards the sea, but all of our enemies are, like, behind us, so... We could build a hamlet. Ask to declare war, walls, and hamlet. Mm, let's just start with the trapping. According to the title, this game doesn't exist. What? Uh, there should be a link uh, to download the game in the top of the chat. That's pinned up there. Is that what you mean? I guess I, 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 guess I don't know what you mean. Oh good, now we have enough stone to make our uh, temple. Yeah, now we can make the Hanging Gardens badass. Everyone's going to be jealous. Our gardens are going to hang out. It's going to be sweet. Bum, bum. Yep, the the link at the top will bring you to the Epic Game Store. Otherwise, you can go to Old World uh, on Epic Game Store and use the code Raptoria at checkout. That's what I'd do. All right, we need more military units. Otherwise, we're going to get destroyed. So we got to go with military before somebody turns on us. A marriage offer? Boy, you are 20. Are you sure? Oh, you're marrying a vandal? Oh, hell no. Uh, to the court's surprise, a marriage proposal has arrived from the vandals. Your son, Prince Alexander, to Gorgo the Vandal. Uh, well, the vandals would be one less thing to worry about. Oh, no. No. I gotta kill the vandals because they're parked on top of our cities. Oh boy, why must you love what I must destroy? Damn you. Can't we just get you like some... Let's get you a sports car. Oh man. Oh man. Well, this will bring us their opinion up, but I don't think that means we can't attack. So... Is Pinto blessed to fully de develop religion yet? Uh, we need more members for that. I think we got to get to at least 3,000. We're close. That's them's the rules. Uh, negative one legitimacy, marriage with a tribe. Or negative 20 for... Uh, boy, you need to find somebody. Wait, he's not even in love with her. They're just sending a letter. You're not marrying my son. Get out of here. He's too busy, like... He's still, like, p playing with crayons and stuff. Leave him alone. <laughs> Oh, we could build another farm or a mine over there. Ooh, that'll give us plus iron. Which means that we should be able to build a giant military that way. Well, let's do that. Ooh, or we could do fishing. Uh, we have a little food problem, but we are building another farm. Let's go mining. Damn, this music's good. And we're also researching farming, so I think... That, I mean, uh, trapping. So I think that automatically gives us more... Uh, d d ones in chat, if you guys see the pin message at the top of chat, I see a lot of people... Are you guys just closing the, the message pin to the top? That's that's why we pinned it up there. Ones in chat, if you see that message. It, it should link to where you can get the game right now. Does it work? It should be working up there. Oh, we got an elephant. Oh, there's a storm. Oh, that must be the edge of the map. Okay, we can't go any further north. There's two wonderful cities up here. This is cool because we can actually control two bodies of water in one small area. To make it easier to defend. Okay, I'm going to send our military out. Now we'll keep them there. Okay, we got more... Ruby's there. Oh, people are too enraptured by my hair. They're too distracted by that. It's not good. It's fine hair. You guys always go with the hair. I don't. I just don't see it. 
His mother's disposition. Representatives from the Academy arrive at the court bearing news of Prince Alexander. He's He's been well, and he's turning out to be as wise as his mother. Okay, carry on, boy. Hostile neighbors. A Babylonian military officer and his squad of soldiers march into court, causing a great alarm. He reads from a crisp, sealed scroll. Your next tribute payment is due. We will make ourselves comfortable until the matter is settled. How should we respond? Oh, you guys want some more Arby's? That's fine. There you go. We'll fatten them up, and then once they're weak and slow, that's when we strike like a cobra. That's what a cobra sounds like. Ooh. Veteran soldier. A scarred veteran soldier crouches in the ruins. She says that she once commanded armies of a great nation before a resistance brought it crashing down. She's willing to share her vast battlefield knowledge if we're willing to listen. Oh, we could make her... Wait, invite her to the court, or... Oh, we get the oh we get uh, barracks unlocked. Oh, that'll be oh that's perfect. That's what we need. Come on in, ma'am. I need that to make units. Good job. Uh, looks like it's always a good day, uh, uh, hair day for me. No, you're just saying that because you're a member. All right, let's end the year. Wow, we've gone really far west. There must be somebody on the far. Well, actually, the mini-map shows exactly where we can go. I hope there's not an enemy up here. I'm assuming the last nation's probably here, but there's a chance it could be over here. I don't know. Oh, we got a new builder unit ready. Nice. Let's go for a farm. Because we certainly do have a food problem. Why is this unit purple? Wow, this music is too good, dude. Uh, we need another settler, but that's going to take 13 years to make. Damn. That would slow us down too much. Hmm. Could do another warrior, though. Yeah, let's probably do a warrior. I wonder. Oh wait, actually, it says worker, not warrior. Oh, warriors here, yeah. Never mind. Do they not take food? Upgrades to axemen or spearmen? Oh, I need, I need, I need, I need military. Yeah, this game's fully released now. Keep going. Who the hell wrote this song? Tutorial undo. No, we're fine. Prince Alexander feels fear as does any sane man, but he never lets it stop him. He has gained courage plus one. Okay. Uh, Hamlet walls. Mm. Let's go with that one. Damn, this music, dude. I want to, like, listen to this in the car. Pull up to the Wendy's. Hi, welcome to Wendy's. What can I get you? Uh, yeah, I'll have a number. That's what they'd hear in the background. Yeah, I'll have the uh, spicy nugs. Hey, sir, could you could you turn down the soapy soapy? Huh?
Yeah, we're going to have this unit go down here. We'll go north of the mountain and west of the little river. A marriage offer again? Whoa. Wait, who the hell is... I don't even know who these people are. A del... But that's not even my son. Wait, what? A delegation from Egypt arrives with a marriage proposal for your son. Oh, they want me to choose between the two. Oh, I, okay. Uh, Egypt wants to... Uh, uh, have a little alliance. It's probably a good idea because the Babylonians are going to get a little, little, little something, something going on with them. Uh, let's see. S S and S S and Chibis or it put the herbalist. Where are we going to put the herbalist? Where where do we put it? Uh. Courage plus three. Well, this gives us wisdom minus one. Charisma plus two. Courage two. Discipline two. Can hurry specialists with money. Agents or generals heal in natural territory. Plus four HP from healing. I think we gotta go with the top one. Yay, we're getting married. All right, chat, get out the pizza rolls. We're having a wedding. Get out the good pizza rolls. Like the combination ones. Ooh. Oh, damn. His father's disposition. Representatives from the academy arrive at the court bearing news of Prince Alexander. He's been well and turning out to be as daring as his father. Uh, Prince Alexander is a student. Okay. Well, now we can do some more construction. Oh, we can build a barracks now. Let's do that. Yeah. You can only build so many things, but a barracks is going to be needed, especially at the capital. Uh, news has arrived from abroad. King Nebuchadnezzar, the settler of Babylon, has abdicated. Get wrecked! Get wrecked, the Babylonians! Lol, get wrecked. Uh, Queen uh, Kash Shea, the new of Babylonia, has taken the throne. Their opinion of you is now upset. For what? I didn't do anything. Why, what? The, I didn't do a damn thing. I'm I, listen. I'm busy over here raising my kids. You worry about you. Cursed land. Our scouts report that this area is cursed by and blighted. Little vegetation grows here. There's no animals to be seen. A foul smell hangs in the air, and ghastly moans can be heard from throughout the region. Oh, is it the DMV? At the center of the cursed land, they discovered a deep pit in the ground, which seems to be the source of the moans and stench. Peering over the edge, they see flies burning up from below the earth. Fill the pit with rocks. We should study the pit. Plus four legitimacy, minus 75 rocks. Hmm... Yeah, forsooth, we gotta go quit. Oh, another banger. We could get a court scholar, though. I think I wanna go with that. Cassander joins the court. A new court scholar, Cassander has joined the court. His curiosity and insight will aid Greece in unraveling the mysteries of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's become a scientist. Good. Excellent. Calm Emissary. Ah, we found the other ones now. Uh, the Numidians. A calm barbarian leader arrives in your court, poised and cautious. He says the Numidians are not quar uh, quarrel with your people if you agree to leave them alone. Hell yeah. We're not going to fight. We're good. 
the Babylonians we're going to have to prepare for. They want to fight. Unknown nation. Oh, the Romans, too. Our scouts have encountered travels from a foreign land, although they speak a strange tongue. These men and women appear harmless. They wish to greet our people and, re and establish relations. Do we dare risk them into our nation's security? Interact with them and share freely. Avoid them as we have enemies enough. Yeah, let's let them in. That's cool. Alright. Kesha's visiting. Oh, dear. oh, yeah. She's she's already got two. This woman already has an attitude. I didn't do anything. Uh, with the abdication of King Nebuchadnezzar, the settler of Babylonia, the ruler uh, has passed to Queen uh, Kesha of the New Babylonia. Okay, la ladies. Ladies, keep... There, st stand over there a little further away. There we go. Okay, once the murmurs of shock from the court died down, the messenger reveals the main purpose of the visit. She invited you... Oh, she invited us to visit on a diplomatic trip. Oh, are we going to, like... Oh, thank God. Use the chance to try to spy and learn about their lands. Ooh. Refuse to attend. Uh, minus two legitimacy. Befriend a new ruler. Wait, why would that... Wait. There's a new ruler and, like, us... Mm, I don't want war, though. But she will become suspicious of us if we... Oh, I have to, though. We have to spy on them. They started it, so... We're gonna use it to spy. The Danes present an offer promising a stable peace. Uh... No, the offer's not good enough. Sorry. I'm not even bothering you. You just stay over there. Tutorial. Take the field. Our warrior unit has been hard at work training for battle, and they're ready for leadership. Will you take the role of general and lead them? Uh, yes, I belong in the field of battle. No, I'm needed in the capital. Okay. I'll go to the battlefield, but there's no battle going on. They're just sitting there. Dude, look at all this construction we got going on. Damn. We can make a boat dock over here for fishing. Uh, oh, nets. Oh, nice. All oh, the workers can become fishermen. Awesome. You guys can promote. Is that a temporary thing? I think that might be temporary. Uh, bloodthirsty. Let's do focus one. And we'll end the year. The unit has been alive enough, I guess, to where they just have gotten natural skill. Okay, yeah, the uh, link to the game is uh, in the description. Chat's almost up to 300 likes. Thanks, guys, for the uh, quick tap on the support, by the way. It means a lot on YouTube. Helps that algorithm. Pops us into that uh, recommended tab and helps more people find the channel. And more games, too. True. Yeah, Booster's a good risk player. The Dutch are ver very smart that way. Thurston always wins. Representatives from the Academy arrive at the court... Bearing news of Prince Alexander. Hmm. His wife... Wait, he's been well, unfortunately turning out to be as shy as his mother. Oh. Minus one courage. What? He was... Okay. Uh, let's see. Could build some more farms. Looks like we've solved the food problem quite immensely. We should do some more mining. Plus three on iron, plus five on rocks. What about wood? We don't really have any lumber coming in. Tutorial, clear forests. 
Uh, your worker has moved to a tree a trees tile. Workers can spend one order to cut down trees with the axe button. And two more orders to further clear. Oh, I see. We can get it by sending them around manually. Okay. It takes trees time to regenerate. If you build an improvement on the tile, it's automatically harvested. Oh, okay. I'll cut down forest for wood and I can build the lumber mills. Oh, alright. So we gotta come back every couple of years. So we can choose to cut this down for now. Might be a good idea. We'll grow back. That's a good idea. Okay, next unit. We still need a settler unit. It's going to be our next thing after we get the military going. I think we're building two military units now. That's probably not a bad idea. Because the Babylonians are getting a little... Uh, Babylonians right now. Gandhi's a gangster? Yeah, everybody gangster until Gandhi started firing off nukes. I think that was a glitch, wasn't it, in that game? That was crazy. That Gandhi would do that. Kind of funny that way. Very cool. Alright, we found one of our other... Numidians. Okay, that's good. Yeah, Nuclear Gandhi, yeah. It'd be a great metal band name. Okay, next unit. Oh, these guys uh, can make another move. We could build a barracks up here too, but I think we should probably just... Um... Oh, what's this down here? Is this an orchard? Oh, there's trees here, but it'll only give us plus five. Oh. Look. Uh, how do I undo? There we go. Hmm. I guess we should just build a mine. Once we start pumping out troops. We're going to need a lot more iron. And you guys can pass for one year. Okay. Dude, I want to get elephant mounted units. That'd be awesome. Uh, okay, we can build a shrine now. We'll go for the quick research. You guys can still pass. Uh, YouTube will not let you watch live. It's always pushing you back for about 20, 30 seconds. Dude, there's so many problems with YouTube live. It's ridiculous. Like, half you guys don't... 90% of everybody who's subscribed to the channel never gets a notification. The other half can't watch in a high quality. The other problem is that sometimes it's all... Like, gray and stuff. <sighs> Multi-billion dollar company, but, uh, you know. Gotta beat TikTok. Even uh, Instagram now announced that they're doing something like TikTok. Like, everything has just become TikTok now. Succession. Your family has a new heir. Duke Anti Antifreeze. Training strong heirs will be vital for the survival of your nation once your current ruler is gone. Someone will need to take the reins. Once your heir has grown up a bit, you'll be able to choose an educational path to guide them onto the role you need them to fulfill. Your heir and other family members can do more than just wait around to inherit the throne. You can employ them as generals, governors, and counselors. Duke Antiochus is born. It's a day for celebration. Yay! Pinto bless! Pinto bless. Uh. Epics or exploration? The court is open to debate on the topic of cultural enrichment, and we are of two minds on the matter. We can invest national epics, or we can uh, uh, rely on exploration to bring us new experiences. Mm. Let us share our stories. The world has many tales to tell. Not decide right now. The court will choose the law. No extra unit consumption when outside borders scouts move on water. Ooh.
Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So it's either or down each one of these lines. We have to choose one or the other for each of these. Uh, let's see. Epics or exploration. Hunter's opinion is plus 10. It's weird. Well, we are doing a lot of exploration, though. Yes. That was cool. And we'll end the year. Diplomatic discussions. Oh boy. Court diplomats have been hard at work at the discussions of the representatives from both Babylonia and Rome, but they wish to focus their efforts. Which nation should they seek to influence Babylonia or Rome? Requires Babylonia is cautious. Hmm. Send 75 stone? Ooh. He'll owe us a favor if we improve relationship with Rome. And he'll owe, he'll owe us a favor and we'll get plus 120 research. Or 130. Ooh. Oh, we're going to crush Babylonia. Tutorial training. You built your first barracks. Melee units that remain idle on the barracks will earn XP. There is a similar bonus for idle ranged units and on a range. Unit promotions are cheaper for units with more experience, so make sure to train your units while not at war. Ah, oh, it's cool. So if we sit them at a barracks, it'll actually be like they're at war the whole time, so they won't be weak. I'll train my melee units at a barracks so they gain more XP. And they'll be these guys will be done next year, so it'll be perfect. That's cool. I did not know that. That's really cool. Uh, let's see. All right, let's finally build this thing. The Udon Noodles. So basically, we can build a theater, poet, plus 20 for adjacent hamlet. Oh. Maybe we should build that over here instead. We'll cut the trees out of the way. Can't build it there. That's fine. We'll build a granary instead. Fifty percent. Oh, sixty percent bonus for adjacent farms. Ooh. I think I'll build this instead then. Nice. I need to uh, get those vandals off that site too. We need to develop four cities. Ah, oh, landmark discovered. Unfortunately, they already named it before us, but that's okay. Carved wall. Our troops discovered a towering wall depicting images and carvings belonging to an ancient civilization with impeccable record of their laws. Our generals want to preserve such findings. What do you advise? Bring the wall to Pella. Ooh, we can acquire a new technology. Oh, that increases our research faster. General versus tribes plus 25%. Hmm. Or acquire a technology. And eh, we're going to have to fight first before we acquire. We'll go with that. 
Gold mine. Golden tasty nuggets. We're getting close to the top of the map again. Um, uh, we're gonna have to cross water too. I think we actually have the ability to cross water. Oh boy. Padilla. Oh, we gotta choose uh, something now for advice. Wisdom, discipline, or courage? Hmm. Go for plus wisdom. We need to get more of that stuff cooking off. Yeah. Certainly want more of that. Tutorial culture. Raptoria Prime has reached a new culture level. Higher tiers of culture unlock additional improvements and wonders for your cities. Each new tier will also trigger a positive event for the city. Today, a group of laborers have decided to join your workforce, granting you a new worker. Developing culture event in Raptoria Prime. Oh, good. Now we got more workers. Awesome. We should probably send them down here to the city site, but can't build there yet. I guess we could send them over here. We've already got like two workers here. Or we could take advantage of the craps. Or whatever that is. What is this? Build nets. What are these things? Oh, it's pearls. Oh, that's money, baby. Yeah, brother. Alright. So we got some pretty pearls now. You are now known as the Dodge Intrepid. Okay. You're the first to discover this landmark. Ooh, it's a mount. Oh, we can call it a mountain. What should we call it? We have the Bay of Ramen. We have Harry Pog. We have Pinto Bless. Oh, I know what we should call this. It's just a, it's a happy little mountain. Not a perfect mountain, but... It's a happy little accidental mountain. <laughs> ah, yes. Husbandry, phalanx, steel, or uh, metaphysics. Let's go with the pasture. Just to pasture the time. Okay. Oh, yeah. The the Egyptians are just waiting for us to leave. Nope. We ain't leaving. But I definitely, definitely need to make a new unit. Warriors complete. Awesome. Send you guys to the barracks. So they can train. And now we need to do some settlers. Damn, that's going to take 10 years. Man. Hurry production. Now that Raptoria Prime has reached culture level developing, various options for hurrying production of a city have become available. Oh, good. That's exactly what I need. Good. Good. Um, with culture levels developing or higher alone, a city can hurry production at the cost of some civics and discontent. Other methods for hurrying production are uh, further enabled by s certain governor traits of a state religion or laws like orthodoxy and volunteers. This distinct means of hurrying production costs resources other than civics, although they produce discontent. You can see the different options for hurrying production in the city panel underneath the current production progress. Hurrying production it can be expensive, but can also save you in a tight spot. Well, I certainly would like to do that. Oh, now we can get stone... Co oh, the specialist, yeah. Oh, nice. We should probably get the officer going. Yeah, we'll, we'll make this our, our military center. And then we'll do a little farming here, too, because we got to feed our army. How do I hurry production? Ah. It'll bring in some discontent, though. Oh, that'll cost us 520. Uh, not even worth it. I still need to find a third city that I'm going to go for. 
I think we're going to have to start attacking the Vandals. Or actually, we could attack the Barbarians down here. Oh, yeah, that would be perfect. We'll have one city here. Yeah, perfect. All of our cities will kind of be close to each other. So it'll be perfect for trade the closer they are. Well, that's perfect. Or we could get rid of the Danes. Mm. You're safe for now, Denmark. For now. Add a general. Oh, we only have one general. Which is me. Okay, let's keep exploring. Bum, bum. Okay, hopefully we can cross that river. Yep, worked. Mm. Oh, we're doing a lot of exploring now. Crazy amount of exploring. Uh, your son has gone completely mad. He is now insane. What? For, okay. What? Okay. His mother's disposition. Representatives from the academy arrive at the court. Uh... Okay. Maybe just give him, like, a vacation. I don't know. What? Oh, we could build a shrine of Zeus. That's cool. Now oh, we could build another mine here. Perfect. This is great for all of our production. Amphibious garrison arranged strike. Yeah, he's he needs a Snickers. He's not himself without a Snickers. That's true. That's probably what it is. What would really truly be insane is uh, not clicking and tapping that join button and missing out on all of our giveaways and stuff on the Discord. That that's the pure meaning of insanity right there. Like not spamming Harry Pog in chat. That's insane. Absolute insanity. All right. Well, like, I don't want to move... The, oh, I guess these, these fish will run out. Okay. So we have to go continue fishing. But I can't build anything on stuff that's not our territory, I think. Add a road or heal. Oh, yeah, let's heal up then. The Hanging Garden is, is completed by Greece. Self-assurance and assertive, Prince Alexander, your son, excludes an era of co uh, confidence. He's gained plus one charisma. I heard you went insane. Hey, look at that. We built a lovely little Hanging Gardens now, though. Oh, man. The rest of the world's so jealous. Jealous. Food is not a problem. Money's not a problem. Iron, we're building another mine. Stone, we could probably work on. I think we have to build a quarry, though. A quarry is different than a mine. Which we have here. Insane in the membrane, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Execute his tutor, that'll teach him. I mean, yeah, it's funny how solutions were that way back then, too crazy. Actually, we can start building roads to connect our nations together. We actually could start doing that because these two cities will need to start trading shortly. Let's start doing that. Uh, but then again, I don't want to do it right there. 
What happens if we build the Shrine of Zeus? Oh, gives us an extra order each year. Hell yeah, brother. I'll take that. They're building the Shrine of Zeus. These guys are still gathering pearls, right? Oh, we can expand the city up there if we get big enough. Greetings from Portugal. What's up, man? Good to see you. Yeah, I don't know if... Uh, I think Betty White was born a few years before this game starts, so she might just be a baby. I don't know. Uh, well, we've got a lot of lush river here, and I'd hate to not take advantage of it. You know what we could do is we could build... We could build uh, farms all the way around, and then we could put a... Cor uh, a uh, What is it called? The granary? Yeah, we could put a granary in the middle. Oh, we don't have enough trees for this. Oh, no, we need more wood. If that's the case, let's go get wood then. You go there. Oh, I see. Oh, the workers build boats. They don't have to sit there. Okay, I didn't know that. I thought the workers were, were the boats. Okay. Let's keep cutting trees then. There we go. We probably need a lot more wood. Because if we're going to build more farms. There we go. Alright, we can promote these guys further. Vision plus three. Now we're just going to make our fighters really elite. We don't have a lot of units, so we better make some very talented units. That's what we're doing now. Tough. Ah, good. Pella has a new unit they can make. Good. Armor or a miner? Mm. Well, we're building a second mine, so... We may as well do that. The Hanging Gardens. It is done. The world is so jelly of your sweet dankness, and it is a testament to our people of all time, a symbol of our accomplishments today, and the glories yet to come. Pinto bless emote wall from everybody in chat. With this wonder, my legacy will endure. Well, good. We were at least able to build the hanging gardens. That's pretty sweet. Just hanging out. Father's disposition. Oh, God. Tutorial Influence. Influence missions give you the chance to improve another character's opinion of your leader at the cost of a few orders and some money. It'll always lead to follow-up events. Conduct influence missions by clicking on the silhouette button in the action panel on the left uh, while a character other than your leader is selected. You may influence members of a nation, not just your own. Ooh. Plus 40 XP. I guess we'll influence him. Okay. Choose an ambition. Oh, yeah. It is time to choose your next ambition. Well, I haven't even finished the first one. Enact vassalage. Discover six texts desired by the sages. Oh, yeah. Let's do that one. That's going to be easy. We'll be able to discover a lot of technology. Looks like we can start building the theater, which can go around it. Oh, we don't have enough stone. Hmm. 
Yeah, you think someone should make an Age of Empires and Civilizations combo game? Yeah, that'd be good. I'd like it to see another Rise of Nations, too. I thought that was a cool, cool game. But, oh well. Looks like we can build another quarry here. I need to find an area where there's a lot of stone. We don't really have a lot coming in right now. We could buy more, though. We can buy one for a little bit of a uh, little bit of cash. Let's build our theater, though. I want to start on it right now because that is a big project. Build us a theater, because that will give us even more power. Good. Yeah, we're going to be an influencer, like a TikToker. That, that's what it was all about back in the day. Probably keep gathering wood for a little while. Other projects will need that. And there's a lush forest here. That is lush. Lush. It's the opposite of Bob Ross. Uh, let's do focused. Mm, let's do strike one. Oh, good. We have another military unit ready. Fantastic. Now we can go clear the vandals off one of our cities. Actually, we'll go take on the barbarians. But I think we'll leave troops in each city just in case it goes down. We'll just leave the military units there. Injured Carthagababa. Uh, let's see. Shouts from the trees. Our men hurried toward the noise and discovered an injured Carthag Car uh, cardigan sweater laying in the dirt. Companions worked frantically to treat his wounds. According to the men, the caravan was transporting goods to the nearest uh, cardigan sweater when they were attacked by bandits. They managed to repel the attackers and save their cargo of fine wine. Well, 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 well. Bom, 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 bom. Let's see. Negotiate an exchange of protection for goods. Ooh, kill kill them and steal their cargo. Plus 510. Oh, that's not even that much money. We'll go with the first one. Wow, there's a lot of barbarians over here. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that many. Hmm. What's up, Taiki? How you doing? Okay, we could cut down more trees. Yeah, I think we'll just keep cutting trees. I guess it's a good idea in this game to have one free worker unit to just keep cutting down forests and stuff till you can build a lumber mill. It's kind of a cool mechanic how you have to, like, use a move to, like, go to the forests. Oh, that hurt. Babylonia is now at peace with Egypt. Damn. That's a shame. Or perhaps a good thing. Oh, yes. All according to my plan. Good. Good. Oh, yeah, we're scouting everything out now. The upper left corner is basically mountains. Let's go back to the east then. Declare war. Uh, no. That, that was a misclick. I see you have subs only chat on. I did not know this was a thing. Yeah, it's a new feature on YouTube. I figured if you're... If you're going to chat for free, you may as well subscribe for free. That's all part of my evil plan. I think two people actually leg legitimately subbed to the channel, and then everybody else just subscribed because they wanted to chat. I'm pretty sure. I'm no pro, but you know. 
All right, let's see. Cut down some more trees, I guess. We'll just gather up a bunch, bunch of trees. Damn, this music is so good. I want to like listen to this music in the space game. Okay, pass for one year. Pass for another year. I'll just move these guys down here since I know they... Since we know they're there. Oh, nice. We built the uh, the mines. Oh, yes. Beautiful. We can build yet another mine. But we need stone for everything. Wow. I'm going to have to buy some more. Uh, how much for a mine? Oh, an order. We'll have to end the year then. Boom, boom, boom. You've successfully extended your influence upon... Uh, Prince Consort uh, Honeycomb. Prince Consort Honeycomb becomes influenced by King Philip. Good. 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 Now I just gotta convince him to hit the like button. He will do my bidding. Uh, let's see. Well, this is part of one of our ambitions. But... I think we should do that. We'll do the cities first. Alright, let's build a mine here. Dude, this is where all of our iron's gonna come from. This is sweet. There's tons of iron up here. Let's keep cutting down trees. We don't have to worry about that for a while then. Damn, deforestation, the game. You guys are good. You guys are good. Time to scout. We're going to start working our way back to the west. Everything else is either coastline or mountain now. Up there. I don't know what could be there. I guess we'll go up north and find that out. A boastful heir. The royal family of, the, of Babylonia visits the court during a feast... Uh, they make a shocking boast about how much better a ruler he will be one day. Hmm. Chides him for his brashness and turns to us for support. What do we say? Uh, his youth reveals a great ignorance, without a doubt. Wow, she's a laughing sign. Damn, it's like negative or negative option. Jeez. Uh, plus 40 for the prince. Okay. Ooh, this... Yeah, okay, let's go with this one. Because if uh, they go to war, there'll be some internal fighting. Inspired by the Hanging Gardens of Raptoria Prime, Prince Alexander has been inspired by the recent visit to the Hanging Gardens. He comes to you overflowing with enthusiasm. What guidance shall we provide? Prince Alexander becomes an engineer... Plus two legitimacy, or he becomes cunning. Uh, it is one of a kind, the envy of all nations. That's not a good option. Engineer. Yeah, let's have him become an engineer. Nice. Spring Chevy Equinox. It is spring and the tender flowers are in bloom, painting the land of vivid pastels. Your family and, mem and members of the court have gathered to celebrate the spring equinox, a time when light and darkness are in balance and hope permeates the air. How shall we remember this 
wonderful day and ensure that future generations may enjoy the same. Uh, I shall make us mighty and all shall fear me. What, the, what kind of a decision is that? Ah, King, it's a wonderful day. We should make this a national holiday for everyone to remember. And then it's like, execute order 66666920. Uh, we must codify our customs so all may follow them. Uh, I think we're going to go with the Constitution. Wait, what? Uh, we'll go with the second one. Yeah, we got all these ambitions now. The fighting class. A column of military... A mil militiaman winds its way through Raptoria Prime to the Royal Palace, interrupting a political debate. After years of living at the mercy of the court, they demand uh, representation. These men, mostly farmers, are made to spend years away from their homes in times of war, leaving their families to ruin, and at the whim of the ruling class. They demand a seat in the court, or at the very least, the ability to elect their own officials. What? Permit the fighting class to form an assembly... Reevaluate the laws for better representation. Provide the masses with a short lived distraction. Oh, enact professional army. Ooh. Let's do that one. Because we're going to have a really good army. We're not going to have a big army, but we're going to have a good, a very good, powerful army. Ah, oh, good. We've discovered a new landmark. Oh, it's a river. Hmm. What emote shall we call this one? I'm starting to run out of emotes. We will call this one... Amen, brother, river. Amen, brother. Iron Tribe. A delegation from the... Uh, the... The, ter ter the pterodactyls has arrived bearing an introductory gift of iron. The leader of the delegation explains to the pterodactyls have long gathered to mine iron to trade with their neighbors. Ooh. We too desire iron. We have so much in common. Oh, wait. We're going to go to war with them, though. Oh. Well, they just gave us a bunch of iron for free. Sweet. Amen, brother. But that's not even a river. That river, like, goes two feet. It goes from, like, here to there, and that's it. It goes, like, two blocks. That's not even a river. That's like a, a leak. I guess we'll just keep going east. We'll circle back up there when we have more towns. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's pretty similar to Civ 6 and Humankind. With both of those, I mean, it's hard to get a f far away from that formula. Like, everything's a hexagon, you choose upgrades. Like, it's kind of hard to get too far away from that f format, otherwise it becomes like a first-person shooter. It's like the only way to make it different. All right. Uh, let's see. Nesicia the Extravagant converted to, rap, uh, to Greek paganism. What? You were the first to discover this landmark. What shall you name it? Oh, it's another C now. God, we're getting so much legitimacy. Uh, the pizza roll C. Tutorial, paganism. Uh, pagan religions are founded by building your first shrine, and they spread by building more shrines. They have no disciplines, theologies, or access to special religious improvements, but improve the religion's uh, opinion or reduce discontent. Paganism can be adopted as a state religion if you enact divine rule. Okay. Oh, nice. So our shrine is built. Nice. Uh, what is that there? Oh, quarry. Yeah, we're gonna have to start building some quarries.
Yeah, we need a lot of quarries. Okay, let's do some more clear cut. Well, that's a good joke. Yeah, cry me a river, for sure. Okay, we got these guys to stay here. Oh man, the Egyptians totally want this place. We had our people like sitting in that city for like a million years. I just need to get some settlers now. I want free ones. Give me free ones. I want free ones. Ain't nothing free, I guess. Ooh. We're getting into the desert. Now we're playing arid. Nice. Oh, I don't want to declare war. I just want to pass through. Can I pass through? Damn it, Rome. Oh, that's where that river goes from. Okay. Choose production for Pella. Well, it'll take nine years to make a settler now. Yeah, we probably got to start doing that. Otherwise, we're never going to have enough time. Oh, also, we got to rename Pella. We will rename Pella after the next person to upgrade their membership or become a member. We, we shall name our cities after our, our members. Matriarch uh, Nasia the Extravagance is now the head of the Greek paganism. Their opinion of me is now cautious. What? I built the shrine, ma'am. I literally built the shrine. Hmm. I'm going to cut down so many trees we'll never have to worry about it again. Hunter 1 has become a Raptor Ultimate member. We'll go ahead and call it... Uh, Hunter City, unless you want it to name it something else. Thank you for your support, Hunter. We'll call it Hunter City. There you go. Wow, right, well, we got another city on standby. The Temple of Dave Thomas. Ah, yes. And every Wendy's is a shrine. Wow, this is like the music in one of those dramas from like the 20s before there was like sound. Ooh. Whoa, Rome, you're building up an awfully big army there, Rome. Damn. You guys at war with some barbarian? Oh, there's a volcano. Sweet. Mount Elborus. Rome's territory is in the way. Yeah, old school Nosferatu, yeah. Uh, Egypt is now at truce with Rome. Uh, Duke, whatever, is now old enough to be tutored. Oh. Idna the Younger has died. Well, I guess he became a little bit older. Territorial tribes. Your cities have trained another settler, but you may have to defeat some barbarians to access more cities. Barbarians do not behave like tribes, as you're always at war with them. They're good targets for early expansion, as they're easier to drive away. Good. Good. Let's work on yet another... Another warrior. Alright, cool. Now we can go settle the city, finally. All right, we got another uh, another city up for grabs. Next person to click or tap join or upgrade their membership. We'll have to do it next year, but we're almost there. We'll keep this unit... Uh... Oh, I guess we'll bring these guys down here to deal with the barbarians now.
You guys can finally... No, nah, we'll keep them there for now. Alright, it's weird to see a desert here. That we should have named the Hot Pocket Desert. Maybe we should just go south. I do like that, though, how you can name landmarks and stuff. It's good for multiplayer, then you can bother your friends. <laughs> bah, bah, bah. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, even though uh, Crusader Kings and like Banner Lords and stuff, they're a little they're a little different from this. They kind of still give you that vibe. Like all those games go together really well. That's a good point. News arrived abroad that Queen Hespethet of Egypt just is dead. Now there's a new leader has taken the throne. Oh boy, they've constructed the Great Ziggurat. Like father, like son. Oh damn, you had a kid now? I swear these are just like the developer's kids. That's gotta be one of the developer's kids. Just a screenshot of them. Your Majesty may be pleased to learn the Duke takes after his father. Oh, this is our great our grandson now? Okay, cool. Oh, and he's bloodthirsty. Wonderful. Alright, time to settle a new city. Oops. Move you guys there. Move you there. And settle this bad boy. Let's see. Now this could be our champion city of warriors. Or an artisan city. Ooh, there's actually quite a few things nearby that are... Oh, we have silver nearby. Perfect. We'll make that an artisan city. Pinto Blast! Alright, let's build another worker here. And it looks like we might be able to tame the horses. Or not. Build a pasture. Oh yeah, we can. Good, then we'll start making horse... We'll train horses here and ship them back to the capital. Beautiful. You want us to build yet another barracks? Jeez. Or another quarry. Yeah, stone is something we don't have a lot of. We need our territory to expand a bit so we can take advantage of that. Okay. I guess we could start making a road down the coast. Oh man, they gotta do it one block at a time. Oh, unit on cooldown. Okay. Well, we'll have these two build roads at the opposite end and meet in the middle. Perfect. What's up, Josiah? Welcome back, dude. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Oh, wait, did the boats disappear? Oh, we can build more boats. Ah, uh, that'll keep the food situation at bay. We'll take three years to build enough boats, but we'll be there soon. And we could start building another shrine. Mm, when we have more stone. We gotta get into some combat soon. We're gonna go take care of these barbarians then. Right down here. Oh damn it, that's in Egyptian territory. Ah oh, damn it. The Egyptians must have cleared off those barbarians. Damn it. Well, we might have to go kill the Danes. There's barbarians here, but I don't know how the Egyptians built their territory around that. Oh man, I'd have to go all that way? 
Egypt, bro. Oh man, they claimed all this territory. Would give us a great position though inside Egyptian territory. They probably have a lot of units. I don't want to mess with them. The music feels epic. It is. Speaking of epic, by the way, you can get this via the Epic Game Store with the link pinned at the top. So if you like yourself these types of games, there is a uh, link at the top to learn more about this game. I know you guys are always asking, what is this game? Where do I get this game? How much is this game? Link at the top, then. We'll help you out. Yeah, it looks like Justin Bieber. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's true. Use code Raptori at checkout for anything. You're right about that. True. Okay. Ooh, a lumber mill, finally. And yeah, we don't really have to worry about that too much. Let's keep building that road. We'll just have these two units build roads right in the middle. We'll clear out those forests, and then we'll meet right in the middle. We will start our trade. Nice. Oh, do roads have to be built in our territory, though? Now we'll just keep this unit here. It's in a good spot to build a road. Now we start, we need more mines. I have to cut these trees out of here. Maybe we can't log these trees. Ooh, we'd have six, plus six stone over here. <coughs> Let's see. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, we're just going to have to build quarries all over this place. This song reminds me of Gladiator. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if we pass through Egyptian territory, it's going to declare war. I don't know if there's a way for us to bypass that. The Egyptians are blocking this pass. The Romans are blocking this pass. So it's like now the only way to get west is to like go to the north and then all the way around. I'll have to find a way around. Oh, mountains though. Bum, 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 bum. Silver Jubilee. This year is a special year in the annual uh, in the annals of the king and queens of Greece. King Philip the Intre the Dodge Intrepid celebrates his Silver Jubilee, a reign of 25 years. How shall we prepare for celebration to commemorate this joyous day? Uh, prepare a royal spectacle that the people will not soon forget. We could do that. Uh, thank the gods and for their kindness and pray for the continued blessing. Oh, we could become... Uh, King Philip the Intrepid becomes Pinto Blast. Uh, take another wife. Wow. Uh, let's just go with the... Uh, oh, yeah. Re reduction of discontent. That'd be awesome. Let's do that. Pretty sure everybody's pretty happy in this city, though. Oh, nice. Yeah, we'll keep that discontent down. Air education. Philosophy, rhetoric, or tactics. Now oh, he seems to be bloodthirsty. Alright, boy. Time to start becoming a military general. Our territories are all disconnected. Carthage declares war on Rome. Egypt is now at war with the Danes. Wow. Well, Egypt, be a shame if uh, 
If I was to be blocking your path through there. Mm. Wisdom, discipline, or courage. Let's do more wisdom. All right, back to the old road building, brother. We're building a building a big old highway. We're gonna do some trucking, brother. Amen. Okay, we got all the trees out of the way. That's good. This is city's getting so full. Let's go up here and start more construction projects. We we'll probably build another farm. We're at plus 16 for food, but we can always sell food if we have extra. And buy more stone. That'll work out. Oh, that'll give us plus 8. Oh, we have to build a farm there. That's awesome. Damn, the Babylonians are blocked. Man, we can't get a fourth city. Unless we go down here. There could be something to the east. I guess we'll link up our military units. We can find a new unit of some sort. Wow, this is just full Pinto Blast 24-7. Well, that was an interesting year. Rome has begun construction of the pyramids. Oh, Egypt's going to be pissed. <laughs> when they find out about that, ooh. Wow, they're only going to build them in 10 years? Damn. Need to find a way around these mountains, though. This is going to be a big problem for us. War demand. The sudden arrival of envoys from Rome causes disorder in the court. Their ruler... Uh, Remus has demanded that we take up arms against Carthage. Have I even met Car- Why are you mad at Carthage, bro? Uh, this is not a decision to be considered lightly. What should we do? Alright. We'll go to war with Carthage. Mostly because I don't want to make Rome mad. They got a big- <laughs> They got a big old army. Rome's got a big army. Oh good, we completed the horse stables. Now let's build a mine. Or silver. Yeah, Rome's doing what Rome does, I guess. Yeah, let's build a shrine to Athena. Man, I could never go anywhere. There, all this landscape and borders are like blocking everything. Trying to like find another place where we can build. Uh, let's see. Converted to Greek paganism. Great. Ooh, even, look, at even, even uh, Egypt is trying to settle a lot of stuff. They just got... They've just got settler units sitting out there and doing nothing. Oh, there's a city site over here. Yeah, that's where we're going to go. We're going to try to see if we can find some barbarians. Plop down and connect our cities.
diviner. A woman, the seer, sits upon a crumbling uh, dais in the center of the ruins, arms raised to the heavens. I have been waiting for you, she says, as she inhales fumes from a stone dish. She claims to be a seer and an oracle, a voice of the divine. I will serve you faithfully until the end of your reign. Uh-oh. Uh, hi, ma'am. You, you, okay. Welcome aboard. Okay. Altural delegation. Ooh, the Scythians would like to spend, uh, send a delegation of singers and storytellers to the capital. Refusing them would be an insult, but we worry that entertainers may disrupt the court. Uh... Yeah, it's fine. Bum, 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 bum. Eager for combat. Oh, the boy wants to go to war again. Uh, put that energy into your training, boy. Oh, got to keep building them roads. Trucker hat. I need a trucker hat wall. Where's my truckers? King Philip of Raptoria demands his truckers. Where's my trucker hat emote wall? Severely ill, coughing up bloody mucus and suffering from sharp pains in his chest... Oh, in her chest. Queen, uh, the Olympics, your wife fears she does not have much time left. Food boost, free settler, phalanx, or spoked wheel. Ooh. Kind of got to go with the free settler. Because that stuff does not come cheap, brother. Amen. Oh, good. We have a worker. Build a quarry or a shrine. Definitely going with the... Oh, we can build an elephant camp. Oh, boy. Oh, can I not build an elephant camp yet? Oh, build camp. Yep. Okay, well, we got plus 18 on the stone, but it's still not enough. Oh, well, plus 6 over here. I don't even know where these people are that the Romans want me to fight. I don't even... Where are they? I don't know. Alright, we'll go south. Yeah, okay, we're gonna move up here to this city. Oh wait, did the damn it, did the Egyptians take that too? Son of a I think I'm gonna have to go to the war with the Vandals then so I can get a city here. But that would be a whole That'd be a whole tribe. Gotta find one city center. Now we're going to need more warriors. Centralization or vassalage? Nobles in the court insist that we clarify our stance on administration. Do we support policies of centralization or vassalage? Uh, how shall we decree? Uh, don't our ambitions want us to be a vassalage? How do I see my ambitions? <laughs> Control four cities. So we got three out of four. Start constitution law. There was something on that. Hmm. 
Mm. Yes. Centralization, I think, would be best here. Rally the troops. Uh, let's go on a mission to rally the troops. Point an ambassador. Yeah, let's get back to units now. We're going to try to speed run this so we can actually see some combat now. It's been a while. Yeah, this game's pretty chill. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, yep, you can find out more about this game if you click the link at the top. It'll uh, link to the store page where you can pick it up if you'd like. We don't really need military troops. Oh, I guess we should send them to the barracks, actually. Once we make the unit, we can still train them. Well, let's go ahead and have them sit there for a few years. Oh, there's so much crap in the south. Wow, look at the Roman army. They've got a lot of troops. And they're fighting the Egyptians, too. I'm staying out of that. Oh, the... The Babylonians and the... Uh, Carcinogens, or whatever, whatever their names are, those are the ones who are tough. Ooh, ladies, I'm single. Good news. Lord, uh, Queen uh, Consort Olympics has died. That's all right. We still have the Winter Olympics. Your beloved wife has died after vigil, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yeah, grief, 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 and let's get married. Wilderness survival. Messages of your heir. Paint a vivid picture of his tactics and training. Turn officers challenging drills, strategic thinking over the past few weeks. Uh, let's see... Antiochus has been surviving in the forest, learning to use the wild to his advantage. Good, good. Excellent. We'll put him on the front lines. Ambassador missions. You can use your ambassador to conduct diplomatic missions, just like the portrait of the ambassador in the top right, and you'll see their available actions. An ambassador can make peace with nations, tribes, and for trade missions. Ooh. All right. Ah, war goals. Wow. Uh, war can forge a nation. Your general suggests that you should show your commitment to crushing despicable uh, carcinogens by adopting a new martial ambition in the ongoing war against them. Kill 15 military units. Holy crap. Kill 5 military units. Minus two did not commit to war. I don't even know where these people are, so I'm just going to say... Oh, wait, here they are. Oh, that... Oh. That's so far? I and my son will die before our military units make it around those mountains. Like, seriously. There's a mountain range that goes all the way from up here, and then this is blocked by the Romans. Then there's a pass, but that's blocked by the Egyptians. But then there's a way down here, and I have yet to discover it. The war... The war will be over. Everybody involved in this war will be dead of old age. The war will be over and everyone will be dead. <laughs> Alright, we can build a quarry. Bruh, it isn't on Steam. Again, the link is pinned at the top. I, I don't... Everybody watching right now, uh, just click the link that's in the blue message at the very top of chat. Like, jump, jump it into a game and then uh, closing the message there is... Not going to help you out, my friend. Okay, well, we're getting plus eight food. Well, we got a lot of food. We don't really have to worry about that so much. And actually, we're getting a lot of stone now, too. So we should probably do things for commerce. Oh, yeah, let's put a granary here because that'll 
That'll further boost this farm's potential. We'll send them down here. Okay. And what can we do here? Ooh, plus eight for farming again. Okay. It's hard to avoid lush farmland like that. I haven't even I haven't even found a way through here yet. Egypt was blocking my ability to scout. Oh well. Babylon is now at war with the Danes. Dude, Babylon, that's the last thing you needed was to fight them. Dude, everyone's attacking the Danes and there's no there's no do, wait, reason to do that. Ooh, border growth. I think I should go for that one. Before all the pathage, passages to go wherever is going to get screwed. Alright, let's appoint somebody at the mines. We give up, wow. Alright, Hunter City's got somebody ready to go. Okay, so now we've got a bunch of settlers ready to go as well. Another quarry for 5.5. .5. And we can finish our road into the city. I guess we don't have to clear the trees, but it's fine. Yeah, I'm an ancient king. That's why I remember the days of YouTube where they had the the star system before the like and dislike system. Although I don't like either of those. I don't know. I wish there was a different way to like interact with a video. Ooh, six plus. Ooh, plus nine if we go up here. Uh, we must wage war. Egypt wants us to wage war on the Danes. Oof. We'll be at war with the Danes. Well, good opportunity then to go take that territory. Sorry, Denmark. I tried. I tried. Well, we're going to have to send our troops up north. Go settle that territory. Can't even move. A familiar face. Hardly recognize the young man who returns from training. Oh wow. Old military training. No celebrations. Give the court clerical work. Now nah, we'll do a military parade. We're about to go to war. We just had a parade, so uh, time to party, boys. The grieving is uh, at an end. Good. We're 
we're gonna barely be able to escape this closing gap of two territories. Yeah, we're gonna have to go for the Danes now. We're about to see some war. Finally time to go to war. We're now known as Philip the Strong. Boom, boom. Have I upgraded my GPU lately? No, I have the same one as in the, uh, the description link. Uh, Judaism is founded in what? Cam Cambodunium? Lumber year? Man, we'll go with uh, oh, the Constitution. That's one of our goals. Okay, we'll do that one. Do we have another settlement thing? Oh, yeah, right there. Alright, we're rolling into Denmark, boys. Uh-oh. The Danes have security set up. We need to force march. We need to get up there double time. Let's see what's up here. Is there a city or anything? No. Okay, one of your scribes has returned. Uh, excited talking about the practices of Judaism. Uh, she fills the court with the stories of a god who gifts his followers words written on stone. Ancient line of kings hailing back uh, past your own ancestors. Members of your court seem impressed and curious. Will you support the religion? Uh, negative two legitimacy or plus two. I need to regain the legitimacy I lost by doing the other thing, so we'll we'll evil it out. The court surprise: a marriage proposal has arrived from the Vandals. Oh, this again? Not at this time. The war with Cartridge continues to take its toll. Uh, start the ambition of capture three cities. I'm not even close to that. Okay, whatever. Like, I, I, I fully support Rome and the war, but, like, I can give you, like, money. <laughs> the tr My troops will never be able to make it. All right, Egypt completed the Great Ziggurat. Well, reports of a raid on our outpost. Uh-oh. Near Hunter City. Uh-oh. Now we're severely ill. Oh boy. We're about to die. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just sneaking around. Okay. Well, this has a melody of like a Bo Burnham song. Mount Vulture has been discovered, okay. Seeking knowledge. Uh, share knowledge with Babylonia. Sure. Right now I just want to, I have to crush Denmark now. We must deal with with the Danes. Your doctors and diviners have warned you that the end is near. Time to get your affairs in order. Oh boy.
Am it Egypt? Pain in the ass. They're like sitting on the city side. They're probably going to bring over a settler now. No, they had way more units than I did anyway. Imagine if I surrounded it now and went to war with Egypt. They've got too much stuff in our territory. Everything this side of the mountain should be ours. Oh, yeah, each of you have too many cities. You got nine. Mostly because you blocked the, the way. That was very strategic. But also, they're being jerks. Okay, what can we add now? Oh yeah, let's add a military advisor. Maybe I can maybe I can squeeze in a unit there. Maybe Egypt will not pay attention. We'll put a farm there. Yep, this is uh, a game called Old World, and you can get it with the link at the top of chat in that pinned message up there. The big blue pinned message is full of knowledge and so wise. All right, cool. Now we've connected our cities together. Well, almost. We just need to go around the mines. We can do that now, though. All right, we're probably going to die. We're probably going to die to death now. Whoa, not cool. The following ambitions are now legacies. Uh, control four cities, 20 years left. That could be done at any time, really. Discover six texts. We're basically there. Enact a constitution. We just need to unlock that, which we're working on. So that should be done shortly. Enact professional army. That's one little thing we'll have to do. Uh, let's see. King Philip has died. Oh, that's it. We're dead. We died to death. But that's all right now. Alexander the New, who uh, we prepared for military action, is now ready to go. Good. Let's go with that. The final favor. At the funeral of King Philip the Strong, you were approached by the Queen of Babylonia. I owed a debt to Philip. I was not able to repay it. Allow me to repay you in his honor. Will you accept? Sizable do donation to the national coffers. Ask they keep the favor for a rainy day. Yes, let's do that. The Burden of Kings. Students chatter in the hallways as you sit quietly upon your bed at the academy, wiping away tears. With the death of the king, uh, fate thrusts upon you upon the throne. You no longer have time for your studies, and the business of ruling Greece consumes every spare hour, and corona, uh, coronation arrives within the week. Stealing yourself to bear the burden of kings, you decide you must... Uh, Settle dispute between enemies and bring peace. Manipulate those who would stand against me. Speak. Go even if I really want to stay here. Uh, let's see. Schemer. Diplomat. Hmm.
Go for the diplomat. Matchmaker. Oh, the Danes want to get married. Uh, war with the Danes has gone on long enough. I thought they were all dead. Oh, there must be more, I guess. Uh, you may wish to consider peace. Our spies report that one of the Danish warlords seeks a mate for her daughters. A match with your heir may be a solution for all the problems. Well, we're not even really, like, fighting. I mean, kind of, but I thought the war was over. Yeah, that would be a good thing to be able to put an additional worker on a project to speed up the build. That's smart, yeah. Well, let's not do any of that yet. Tutorial Inheritance. Now that you have a new heir, it is time to learn about the succession laws. On the left side of the top bar, you can open the Inheritance screen and the Crown button. It'll show you your current heir and succession laws. Okay, I will change my, if I, my law if I want. Control Specialist, Control Two Wonders, Control 20 Urban Improvements. Ooh. Let's build another Wonders. We already have one of two. Okay, this will just have to stay here. Come on, Egypt. Move out of there. Another unit here. Man, e we're gonna have to like go to war with Egypt because they're literally blocking this place. I don't even. Oh, wait a minute! It's not barbarians anymore. That's why they took that. Yeah, Egypt has expanded to nine territories now. Or not nine, but that's their number of goals they've completed. But anyway, Egypt's too strong. I want to go to war with them. Is there a way to just get Egypt out of here? Egypt, could you just could you just die? The court awaits your commands. Uh, Egypt, you really you really be in a pain right now. But we are building more warriors. Ah, well, don't want to go to war yet with our with this unit too close. They could just they could just go for this unit. We'd be dead. Oh yeah, and these guys are like being jerks too. Should actually bring that unit back. Now we're going to make a run for it. Go make another farm. Alright, barbarians are come to Hunter City. We don't want that to happen. Oh good, now we can build a... Uh, granary in the middle. Giving a hell of a lot more food. Oh dude, that's awesome. Okay, we can do more mining. Give another miner specialist there. And we should be able to build another mine down there. Nice. All right, we're getting ready to build up that army. Harvest horses. All right, we'll end our year. Bum, 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 bum.
The pyramids have been completed by Rome. Oh, Egypt has, Egypt has been defeated, basically. <laughs> Rome has converted to Judaism. The opinion of you is now cautious. Dinner with rivals. Ooh, we're going to dinner? Where are we going? A delegation from Rome is sent to help settle a minor dispute that is brewing between your two nations at dinner. One of their parties speculates on who could beat the gods of war, leading to a spirited debate. They put forward King Ramus, the able of Rome, the best candidate. Some others visiting dignitaries suggest King Consort of Horbalem. Who would you choose? Uh... Egypt becomes disappointed with us. Ooh, wait, let's go with this one. Alright. A little extra bonus there. Let's see. Give me that wisdom. You want to go to dinner? Well, that's good. Food good, me like. Oh, the Egyptians are just going to camp on that site. They're not going anywhere. All right, well, we got to show some war. I need a city right now. I want it. The Egyptians have taken too much territory. But I need a military unit in the south to defend. Oh great, there's an Egyptian city there too. Damn. Okay, well we're building plenty of uh, military units, so that's fine. All right, surprise, Egypt. Get wrecked. Go to war. Get him, boys. Glory to Raptoria. I need this. Thank you. Unit attack cooldown. All right, good. Operation I want, you give. Now we're going to block the Egyptians from attacking. Wait, what? Yeah, we better get these scouts home. All these mountains and borders, it's making it bad. Oh yeah, we'll need to build another uh, monument. We could probably build something soon. Oh, the Egyptians are bailing. And the uh, barbarians are attacking Hunter City. You've completed the legacy of King Philip. Discover six texts. Beautiful. Reports of a vandal raid. Oh, great. Let's go with the Axemen. Yeah, we got warriors about ready to complete. Got warriors on the way home. Forest March, we gotta get back ASAP. Oh good, looks like the Egyptians left. Yes. We can now settle another city. I think it has to be clear of enemies, though. Oh, we're out of orders. That's why. Wait, are we? Now oh, we're out of orders from all the military stuff. Man, the barbarians are going to cause a lot of damage, but that's okay. Tyranny or constitution? Ah, good. 
Now it will be the Constitution. We've finished the second part of our legacy. Excellent. All right, that's two out of the way. We're doing all the things, wrapping up dear old dad's legacy. Oh, damn. Chariots of fire. Oh, spearmen too. Oh, boy. Oh, Egypt's fleeing across the border. find a city here. Artisans. Alright, and we've completed the uh, four cities. Oh, dude, we're kicking ass. And we're the, we've discovered a new sea! Alright, dude, that, that was a good move, dude. We just completed three major goals just like that. That's awesome. But now we gotta start pumping out military units like like now. A marriage offer? Uh, not now. Alright, the enemy just slaughtered one of our units, but that's fine. We gotta clear them out. What's up, Todd Wright? How you doing? Welcome. Okay, we're going to force march. Wait, did I not do that? Force march. If not, okay, that's fine. Oh, we can't go through those mountains? Oh, man. Alright, choose production for our main city. Let's continue with uh, more warriors. No range needed. A romantic evening. Ooh. There's no time for personal desires. Oh, well, we didn't have any other choice. Gotta deal with that damn chariot. Scientist died too. Uh oh. Not good. Hunter City's got some problems. <laughs> right, we gotta defend our new city. Getting around these borders is a pain. I'm hoping there's some options for that. Alright, now the battles begin. Unfortunately, Hunter City is completely surrounded by uh, barbarians. Although our military unit should be able to deal with it. 
get our settler out of here, though. Okay, well, we can start building some roads to our new territory. Looks like we can build hamlets, too, but we'll do that later. Cool. Well, I think we're off to a good start. In the three hours, we've made some pretty good progress. I think the Egyptians here will maybe almost defeat us or defeat us and then leave. I, I feel like we'll be able to hold this area, but it'll be a costly one. But then we'll start building military units here and here and here. And we're going to start defending the coast. Pretty good move, though, I'd say. I think so, anyway. All right, very good. Okay, well, if you guys haven't smashed like already, get us up to the uh, 500 likes. Let's see if everybody can uh, get in before the big 500. Don't miss out. And you guys can get this uh, on the Epic Game Store. Old World, available now. Just use the code Raptori at checkout anytime you get anything on the Epic Game Store to support the channel. And you can get it via the link up top if you'd like to as well. You guys are awesome. We are out of time for today. So thank you very much for tuning in. And I will see you guys a little later today for uh, Sim Casino. Thank you very much for hanging out. And uh, we'll probably come back to this one someday. But pretty good to see it fully released now. Love the music. Love the uh, art. Love the combat. What's not to like? It's really nice. All right, guys. I'll see you all uh, next time. Thanks for dropping in. We'll see you soon. Bye, everyone. Best music ever. This game is like a 10 out of... No, 11,000 out of 10. See you soon.